Hello friends, Aston here. So in this video, I'm going to introduce a new feature called Easy CSV for one script in Google Docs and Google Slides. And uh, I added this one recently to solve one of my problems in my daily workflow. And uh, let me show you the workflow and the problem here I'd like to solve. And uh, here is a blog post. And in this post, uh, for every single image, I'd like to add some information about this Im uh, image here. Like for example, uh, if I want to add this shutter speed and the ISO data and the F number, so basically the, this technical data for an image. And I, if I do this manually, I need to repeat this process. So it's, it's kind of a headache. And uh, if you have a lot of image to be added to the post, uh, I don't think it's a uh, in a very good workflow. If you're doing this every day, uh, it's going to cost a lot of time. So that's why the main reason I'm designing this import CSV data from to Google Documents, uh, and then I post this as a, a post, create a post from the document with easy blog. Uh, so let me show you. I'll give just I'll give you a very quick demo here for uh, the workflow I'm doing here. And by the way, I can show you how we can use it uh, in the Google Documents first. So first, I think I'd like to bring some image here. For example, uh, I'd like to export some uh, image into my desktop. And then I need, I need a script to export all of this data. So I have a Python script here to, so I have this Python script here to uh, export the data, uh, basically export data on the image on my desktop. So if I execute this one here, and it should generate this CSV file. So this is the CSV file. Let me open this file so you will see the data. Uh, so basically, you will see here uh, six image and all of this information. We have this name, date, camera. So all of this information we can use. So let me just make a copy of this data and uh, go back to the document and paste the data here. And you will see, once we have the valid CSV data entered in the sidebar, and we have these options here, uh, before we use it, so basically here, right now we have three options. So you can insert below image per row, and you can insert above the image per row, and also you can insert it as a table. So the main use case for me, so if I grab this image into my Google document, so right now it's saving, okay? Uh, you need to process them after the saving is done, uh, or we're going to have some problem because the image is not yet saved to the document, and then we're trying to uh, insert them. So the main purpose, we have six images in the document, and now we have six rows in the CSV data. So it's like, like a mapping from one, uh, one image, one row of data, so we can use. So right now, uh, this is saved to Google Drive. And uh, what I can do here, so I can insert below image per row. So what that means is uh, I can insert some information. Uh, so if I'm trying to insert after, so this is below the image. So I'd like to add this shutter speed information, the ISO data, the F number. Uh, you can add more if you want. Okay. So and the delimiter is going to uh, be used. So you can you can do a change, and you also can insert some empty rows. Uh, below this information. So let me show you right now, it's just one empty row uh, below this information. So I should have a gap between these images here. So right now we don't have any empty rows. So if I'm trying to import them into uh, these images here, so you'll see I have this shortest, uh, all, of the, all of this information inserted after below this image. And uh, this is the delimiter uh, we entered here the empty rows, zero above this line, and uh, one row uh, below this information, and it inserted below this image. And uh, you can insert other information above this image if you want. So if I'm trying to add a number, a data camera and lens above these images, so I can above them, and the information I want to insert, and then I can insert them into uh, this data here. So you will see uh, empty row below it, okay? So that's basically, if I do undo, so if I can remove this, I think, 
empty row zero. So I can do something like this. So then above the image and this is below the image and the number one, two, three to the last one is number six here. And this is how easily we can uh, lay out all of these images very easily, right? So, and then what we can do here, if I'm trying to use, so another thing I'd like to share here is, uh, you can insert it as a table if you want, and uh, if the table is selected, you have this option to transpose this table if you want, if you want to insert the table as transposed. So I'd like to, you know, insert some of this data so I can insert it. Okay, I think I, the cursor is, I think it's inserted into the, the position of the cursor, so let me try it again. Hmm, maybe a bug here, but you got the idea. Just insert this to somewhere, let me try it again, to transpose it. So this is a transposed table, and this is a normal table from the CSV data. Uh, so that's all for, uh, for the uh, easy CSV in Google document. And the flow is like this. So once I have all of this data prepared, so I can use easy block and uh, just to give you a very quick demo here. Uh, demo, so this is a demo here. I'd like to put it into automated boring. So I'm going to create a post for sure. And I'd like to create it uh, as a draft because I'm not going to publish it. Remove this code here. Uh, quick, quick demo. So to show you the basically the workflow I'm doing here for the post, uh, import the image and add the information for the image, and then uh, with easy blog, I'm going to post this you know, as a post to my Google blog collect, Google Google blog account here. So it's going to be a very easy process for me. Okay. So this is the main reason I I uh, designed this easy CSV. And uh, I think you, maybe you can you have another user cases in your daily workflow. So just basically, uh, I think the image is the key for you in your basically some information for your image. So this is a very uh, typical use case, as you can see here. Uh, and I think that's all for Google document. And uh, let me show you what we can use it. How can we use it in a Google Slides? Uh, let me just copy the, okay, it's not there anymore. So let me just uh, open the Google slide and I'd like to copy this CSV data again. Since already, uh, we already have some data here, so it's not a problem here. It's best, we have some CSV data here. So for the Google slides and the user case is a little bit different. So the main case I'm trying to use in Google slides. So I assume you're gonna have a template a slide as a template, and then with our add-on, we can we can duplicate this this template and update the placeholders in this template. Like for example, I have the camera here, lens, and all of this information for this image, and I can use this one as a template with this activated. And uh, so the option I'd like to use is copy, active, and update per row. So what this can do here, so this is the placeholders you can use. Uh, is depending the CSV data you entered here. So these headers or placeholders could be different. So I can use them as a placeholder in my template. And uh, if I'm trying to import them, and it's going to duplicate all of this, du duplicate this template and uh, create a copy. And then I'm going to update the value by the data from the CSV. So number one, number two, number three, four, basically, all of this information you can see updated. Like so, this is the main use case for me um, with Easy CSV for Google Slides. But you also can do something else. Let me show you. Uh, let me delete this, and you can insert the information you want to insert as a text box or a shape, and it's going to create them as separately per row. Uh, so let me show you what I mean here. So if I select some columns from the CSV and I'd like to import them. Uh, and it's going to create a text box for this information. So you can uh, easily import them per slide, per row in CSV. And uh, another one, if you want to use a shape instead of text box, so it's going to do 
uh, this similar thing, and this time it's just the shape here, right? So I think this is very easy for if you are doing a series of, you know, some kind of like a YouTube cover for your series, like a, I have a series in this playlist from one to 100, and then I have this information in SSV, and I'm going to create these covers very quickly with this index of some information like number one, two, three to 100, something like that. Uh, that's another use case I can see from here. And the last one is very similar to as we saw in the Google Docs. And this one, we can insert them as a table uh, to the active. So let me just add a blank here. So I can insert this as a table to the current slide. And also we can create a transposed one if we want. So this one, I think should be a transposed one to be inserted to the slide, okay? So I think that's all uh, we have here for EasyCSV. Thank you. Bye-bye.